the madman. All right, I'm picking Rogue. I have actually played Rogue twice already in this new nerfed arena mode, but I've always failed horribly because I keep drafting too big. So this time I'm going to aim to draw uh, draft lower. Maybe actually get some two drops, maybe? Uh, let's go rolling them bones. So here's the big revelation, I guess. Normally I would just go with the Volcano Sword. It is, on paper, the strongest card here. However, I've noticed... Well, I only have a sample size of two, but I keep getting so many big cards when I'm rogue. It just seems to happen. So I'm going to pick the Hired Gun, which is pretty comparable to the Volcano Sword, at least curves me lower than usual. So we're actually making adjustments. The Phantom Freebooter is at least a 4-4 typically. The shot. Efficient low card. I think because, in my experience in Rogue, you tend to get lots of weapons, the fork is less good than it seems. Like, it's the best pick now when I have no weapons, but I think it can be assumed that I'll get weapons. So I'll choose Sludge. This Daring Reporter has gotten out of control way too many times now. Especially since I am dra aiming to draft lower, the Daring Reporter could actually stick on the board. Let's go that one. Achieve. I do like Betrayal. LA Teacher pretty good though. Uh, Betrayal not as good since it seems like I'm going for some sort of tempo rogue deck at the moment. There's a weapon, but strangely enough, so far I only have one big card. I'm gonna count this as two big cards, roll the bones plus shiv combined to kind of be a big card. I'll get Shadow Blade. I have the Raider, I have the Freebooter. We're gonna get big cards. Oh boy. And we're gonna get weapons. Uh, I'm gonna go Defender, because we're gonna get more weapons, we're gonna get more big cards. It's kind of a big card too, but it's also just a good card. Spiteful Smith. This is uh, very good. Lotus Agents. That's like one and a half big cards. I'm gonna go Death Speaker since I have no combo cards yet. And it's just a strong card. There's a weapon. Good weapon. I think I like this more than Deadly Poison. Two drop. I think I might value the two drop more than the big card here. Let's see. This is the halfway pick. So we have four big cards out of uh, half of the deck so far. I'll go Pyro. This is the extent of how much I'm adjusting my draft. Perpomatic, I guess. The big cards will come. Uh, Gastropod or Thespian. I w this is better for tempo. But this is better overall. I'll take it. Pretty tough to activate the SI7 agent. I only have two drops to go with it. I'm not going Sap here. Although, it would be an interesting pick since I have drafted for quite a bit of tempo. And this deck would be a great deck for Sap. You can kind of note how I'm still trying to get a certain amount of big cards. And we're on track to get that number of big cards, so this could easily turn into a value game, which Sap isn't that value. Backstab lets me snowball the early game. And then we don't have to get to the situation of Sap. I'm gonna go backstab. I'll push the early game advantage. So I can Grand Archivist up my Roll the Bones or the Shiv, which is technically good. And yeah, Midnight Drake, though. Now Corsair, good value option. Pick it. Actually picked up a dragon. You have the Beast and the Gastropod. Yeah, this is a 3 mana 3 3. I need some amount of hard kill, though. There's the late game that inevitably comes against two cards that are slightly less good. Help us Thespian. I think Betrayal isn't very good in this deck because we actually curve pretty low, so unlikely for the opponent to be ahead. I could use another 2-drop. This is going to be way more 2-drops than I usually have, which is good. We're switching it up. Meh. Meh. No lurker, I guess. That's actually way better than the other two. Maybe this time around it's Sap. It, it's difficult to combo in this deck. Eviscerate, though, I really like this card. Why sap a card when you can just eviscerate the card? I have Shadow Blade again, so I have two weapons so far. Weapons are good in Arena, and I only have two. Feral Gibber, maybe. Great one drop. We can play uh, We can play the game where I try to high roll in the Gibber turn one, and then we play Protect the Gibber. Uh, alternatively, we can pick like the 
card that doesn't suck when it's not drawn in exactly turn one. Okay, so we have less big cards than I usually do. I'll choose Booty Bay. And ooh, last but not least, that's a great last pick. Elven Minstrel will allow me to keep going, uh, since it looks like the curve is actually rather low on this one. So I have a nice basic deck here, but I really like the curve. I'm going to aim to play it really well, because I want a competently played arena for once. I'm going to ambitiously guess I'll go 9. Whew, look at that! Do I keep that 4-drop? I keep Gnomish. It's the classic, classic kind of paladinish opening where you have Arjun Protector giving Divine Shield to a two drop, and then you snowball from there. Except it's Death Speaker instead of Argent. Reporting for duty. Hmm. A critic. That was a pretty weak turn too. Keep the tempo flowing. I don't need any of you. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm, the humility ends up doing nothing though. It actually helps me because he wasted a card. Kind of. Here we go. So just play sludge? Nah, Paladin's got a decent amount of weapons now too. Is too full. There once was a man from Gilneas. My hand is too full. Oh, that would have been a good scorpomatic target. But better to just die. Back to your homes. Oh wow, combo combo. Oh my god. Reporting for duty. But you know, he actually could have played two more dudes right there, and that would have been way scarier. Getting a taunt up this turn is really good to protect this. Okay. Booty Bay Bodyguard managed to two for one. It's a happy day for Booty Bay Bodyguard.
Ooh, that's a card. Four eight. Twelve fourteen sixteen. Go for face and get blown out by Ysera Awakens and possibly lose? Or try to actually play the value game here. If it's Ysera Awakens, which is a 1 in 5, I actually lose if I go face. No, I'd still probably win after Ysera Awakens. Unfortunately, it's just a drive. This is very cute. Here we go. Go away. Die, land lover. Attacked. It looks good, but I'm not entirely sure how it'll play out. It's very reactive based on what he does. the coin. I noticed he played this one. Wait a second. That's not Mana Bind, is it? This card's Mana Bind, right? This is not Mana Bind. Was anyone paying attention? It's not Mana Bind. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. Sneaky. I wasn't paying attention to exactly when he played it. I'd have been like, yeah, I'm in a bun. Oh, sneaky. It's good perdition to play it. I killed both of these cards. I need to have something to play alongside it. This is where having a two drop or three drop would be pretty solid. Eh. Almost. Could just play this five, take the four. I can take the four. I actually think that one is also not mana bind. No, that one's mana bind. It came from like around the same areas. Okay, chat, did did you see this one? This is mana bind, right? <laughs> Help me out here. I'm gonna play the coin anyways on this turn. Uh, since we want to play Perdition's Blade. Oh no, I don't need the combo for Perd Oh, but I want to also play a Daring Report. I want to play Elven Minstrel over. Uh, because to test risk. I mean, if this just doesn't get mana bound, then... Yeah. Oh, Counterspell. Interesting. Interesting. Gazette always gets the scoop. Is that Mana Bind? No, this this card is Mana Bind. That is not Mana Bind. Unless he has two Mana Binds. Go 
guess I'll attack first in case it's vaporized. Here we go. I want answers. There once was a man. I want the answers. At the answer. There's a lot of two health minions. Alright, let's see. So I know one of the cards in his hand is a mana vine. One is the discovered cabal carrier card. One is a random mage spell. So this dies to flame strike still. Probably best to play this when I have more guys. I think we'll play the sludge and the Espion. Oh my god, it's mana bind! No Mission Venner is really more of a late game card. So, I can play Dagger on 2. Perdition's Blade on. I think right now I'm trying to go for two drops since Raider is not really a two drop. I'm trying to go Blade three Raider and Dagger on four, so Venner gets kicked for maybe a better two drop. Play Stonehold Defender now instead. Yeah, Stonehold. Not bad. I wonder if I want to stab the Stonehold. Yeah, I want to stab it. Ooh. Alright, so I already have a 7, so I'll go for 9. Yeah, it makes sense. Here we go. I'm going for a value game this game. Next turn might actually be Raider into Perdition's Blade instead of the other way, so I'll keep the weapon around. process is in which the sneaky devil gives your minions plus one attack Value seven and nine. Oh, it has a lot of cards in hand, but two of those are poisons, toxins. This only works on the simple minded. Here we go. I want to eviscerate a 2 3. I just send the uh, Threshadon into it. Well, it's at 30 health. I think this is just going to be a hard board control game. So yeah, this card isn't good enough to use eviscerate on. And I don't think I really value dealing damage to his face right now. 
Got to start clearing his guys off so the Lesteronic Spellstone can hit the right target. I sense your struggle. Yes. Sneaky double synergy. <laughs> what? The moat lurkering that is pretty good right now. It's the Buffer move. Shadow Blade is pretty good though. Uh, I think Milt Lurker though while I have the full value. Pay attention, class. And we have Spellstone for something huge. Good Shadow Blade target. Oh, good. Spellstone target. About to be like, oh no, order after destroy my own apprentice. Okay. Ooh, Hail Mary. Nah, that makes sense. That probably means neither of these are spells. You can't hide from me. Two streetwise investigators. Oh no, the sneaky devil, he's been revealed. You got me. 4, 6, 10, 12, 15, 19. Alright, Thespian, Smith. My best 5 drop. I'll keep my best 5 drop when I have a 2 and a 3. That has a lot of fours. And I have the coin, so I can smith four. So is little time. I wonder if there's some way that I can get my weapon to enrage and then get the free booter on life. Seems like it wouldn't happen. I can toss the coin in order to not have my thespian lose to a burlock. Kinda sounds good just to avoid the embarrassment. Four mana, five four. Wow. I think I should attack that so that when this attacks this, I can dagger up and attack it again. <laughs> Too much can go wrong. Oh, belly. Reward. On this turn I have 8 mana available, I have to play Pyro and 2 ones. Hmm. I have 6 mana available. Could just float one mana. Yeah, that's better. So that'll actually make this, if it survives, a 
What is it? 5 3. This lets me actually attack this and kill it, which is good. I'll float a bunch of mana. Unless I play Sneaky Devil or Corrosive Sludge. Probably just go Sludge. Yeah, Sludge easy. Ooh, didn't attack this. I can punish. Alright, do I kill the 3 3? No, he's actually low enough that we can race for health in this game. And my Smith is the valuable card, so if he wants to kill it, he'll need to be the one to damage it. Hmm. Alright, so this is a 5 attack minion. 5 5. Not bad. This one first. Out of my jungle. Copy of friendly minions attack and health. Or Sunwalker. We're approaching the end, I should choose something independently good. Combo. Here we go. Oh god, is it time for Crackling Doom? No, it is not. Time for Crushing Hand. Lava Burst. Crushing Fist. We're gonna rely on the women to finish this up. The cold don't bother me, man. The woman and this random bog monster. It's warrior, so this sludge should be really good. Corsair is just a good card. Alright, we're gonna keep strong cards. Strong cards to keep. Job's done. Temp out Scorpomatic. Uh, no, the weapon's pretty good. But the Corsair. You know, random thought. How is this in there? My 6-4 is strong against the 3-6, is that why? Unfortunately, I can't kill the 2-3. I wonder. Balance in all things. Shaku. We must cleanse the sun well. Time to play Scorpomatic. Play it on curve. Sad card. Pretty violent here. And I should probably have played Sneaky Devil on this turn that I had two minions out. No, it's fine. Here we go. I really wanted to develop Shaku. This is a mix of a tempo game and a belly game. 
I don't know what's gonna win out, tempo or value, but I could win on both fronts. I could win on either front. Value would have been saving the two attack weapon. But tempo is, I think I can actually kill him. I think I can win either front, which is good. Oh no! My score for medic! Not like that would ever work. Looking for Moat Lurker or Lesseronic Spellstone. Oh, that was easy. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can actually clear with Sneaky Devil, but Will Lurker's way better. There once was a man from Gilneas. Engaging TC-130, into this locator! This document looks legally binding. Still kill. 1-1 one, one left over. Let's let it let it stand. So three drop, roll them bones. So many options. Actually, I could have uh, gotten a card with this. We want to protect shock. We also want to protect this. This time we have the Lesser Onyx Spellstone, but it'll be tough to... Well, it's either killing a 5-5 or a Tar Lord, I guess. Either result is pretty good. But one is clearly better than the other. What if I manage to do both? That would be gross. It's not possible though. Oh! Low Sludge. Kept card. Been a while. You are not welcome here. Really wanted to develop gastropod, but there's just no way. Like a lot of trades are gonna happen. Every single one of his minions will kill one of my minions, so how much I can do here. Looks like we are going into for a value game. Your magic shall not save Hmm. I have an axe to grind. Five four is very weak here. This card's pretty good. Let's go all out. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the same. An autograph? Hmm, I suppose. I must choose soon. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we'll uh chip in some damage there. Double with the assist again. Uh, get behind me. Ride the polar bear express. Truth is my shield. I think this is just the best way to do it. Yeah. 
Yikes. That's not fair. Here we go. It all caught our arms, huh? That is really not fair. Holy cow. That is disgusting. We got our midnight drake, some serious value. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a trade up. It's good. Stonehill Defender Eviscerate? Yeah, it's pretty decent. It floats one mana. But okay. Ooh. Hit Perdition Stonehill. Reporting now, let's for duty. see. Reporting for duty. Hmm, meh. Arguable on whether or not that's better. Okay. Away. Here we go. Spooky. At least we have the Lich King on our side. Wait, maybe I should Death Speaker here instead. Huh, I was just gonna drop that Lich King like it was hot, but Death Speaking 6 damage is really strong. What would be the plan then? Death Speaker, Perdition's Blade, Gastropon? Gastropod's pretty bad against one ones. Eh, it is just the Lich King. outvalue the opponent. It looked impossible for a bit, but I think we can get there. That's a great moment for target. Do I want to casually take 12 or do we want to wound it a bit? The Death Speaker would basically make me gain 5. Hmm. Then I can use the weapon. I sense your the Obliterate, and then the Curve card is Booty Bay. Actually, maybe the card is Elven Minstrel. Because we gotta watch out for Sarah Awakens a little bit. And we'll put out this card. I gotta benefit even if it does. Taunt at this point. I'm looking for a big card. Maybe Burlock is actually correct. Burlock is actually right.
I did foresee the need to actually freeze an enemy. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. I was expecting like a big card, which I had to freeze and then a little different. I wonder what he chose for three. Mm. Oi. Scorpomatic! Get him! He got this! Oh. Uh. I think we just hit face 40, 11, 13. Yeah, we're not winning the Valley game here. Let's go. I haven't seen the Ysera card yet. That'd be pretty spooky. Gamba Gamba. Unfortunately, I can't cast his Spike Ridge Steed yet. What? I win! Really? We keep the sneaky Scorpomatic early to try to snipe when he most likely has a one or less attack minion. Or we hope to never draw it. I think we're going for plan the second. As long as it doesn't kill my guy, that's a good result. Here we go. I believe the chances of killing your guy is like somewhere around 30%. This number comes up all the time. Alright, I'll take the damage. And I'll float a bunch of mana. Oh, I could just play per. Oh, that's better. Give the backstab. They don't waste a bunch of mana. When Earth moves, empires fall. Balance in all things. Hmm, death rattle. Did this work? I have to play two more death rattles. No lurker or sated thresh it on. Here we go. Here we go. A critic. Against Hunter, we don't really have the health total to play around too much with Venom Weapon. You can't hide from me. Could just play this and hope that it blocks. Yep, that's the plan. My life is your soul. Getting pretty low. If this blocks, I have 10 damage on the board. Uh, still not worth it to hit him yet. Magma Rager is doing some damage. Here we go. Strike. I think it's Shadow Blade Daring Reporter. Yep. Gadgets and Gazette always get the scoop. I hope you like my invention. Aha. Uh -huh. Well fought. Ah! 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 Ah!